Olive, are you trying to rate this uh, this chart? Dude, you're not lying. It's not 100k. Stop, stop. It's not 100k. No, dude, don't sell 100k because. It's not 100k. Let's do a check. Dude, there's no way we're at 100k. I'm looking at my monitor. Right oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! No! No, this does not just happen! 100k? There's no way this is happening! There's no way this is actually happening! 100,000! 100,000! Hey everyone, this is LeBen and A15 here, and it's crazy to think that I'm even making this video where I hit 100,000 subscribers, and it's just. It's crazy. It's amazing how I'm even here. It is honestly just the craziest thing ever. And it feels like not too long ago that I made the 50,000 subscriber video where I first showed my face on YouTube and you guys were surprised. And this might be the first time you guys see my face as well with the 100,000 subscriber video. Since this is a 100,000 subscriber video, I won't be doing like one of those like draw my life type of things, but I will be going a little bit more personal in my life, like what I did before YouTube and how did I get here and uh, you know, maybe give some advice as well on how to grow your channel. One thing that I do want to say before we get into this video is that the level that you're seeing on screen is just me practicing my streams, my patterns, and also my stamina. This is not all in one run. This is a practice, but I'm practicing. By the way, you guys, if you want to get better at levels or trying to pass a single song, use a practice tool, please. So when I first started doing YouTube, I never thought that I would even have this nice camera these lights right here and uh, and I know my backgrounds kind of boring but uh, hopefully when I you know move to a new house because I will be moving to a new house uh, I, I, I want to have like a nicer backdrop and uh, obviously a better camera placement because like all I have like I said are just these lights and then I also have these this LED light that like turns on like it's not it's not like Philips Hue this is I got this off of Best Buy for like $30 so it's not <laughs> it's nothing fancy I can't I can't say Alexa turn turn the lights blue and then it'll turn blue now it's it's just LED lights it's all <laughs> I think I'm gonna turn this off because it could be a little distracting there you go all right so yeah back to what I was saying earlier what gets me the most is the fact that I started off doing YouTube with zero subscribers I didn't have a following before doing Beat Saber I just uploaded videos for fun. It was just a hobby. It was originally supposed to be so I can show my relatives like, hey, look at this. This is a VR game. It's, this is called Beat Saber. This is super fun. So in case people don't know what Beat Saber is, or in case people don't know what VR is or how, how it works, you know, I'd be able to show my videos. It'll be my gameplay. But like as I just casually uploaded videos, people were watching them and I was like, oh, dude, this is insane. Like people are watching and I, I had a couple a couple views. And then it turned into like a couple hundred views and then it just kind of went up from there let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit and we're actually going to talk about uh what i did before i started doing youtube what i do want to say is that with every successful content creator whether it's on youtube or on twitch there has been challenges there has been their ups and downs maybe they've created channels before previously in the past but it never worked out including me like people see content creators as just like Think of, have you guys ever seen that image? I'll probably have the image up here on screen so you guys know what I'm talking about. So there's like this one narrow road and then it branches off saying failure and success. And a lot of people, what a lot of people don't know is that that's not true. That's not how it is. That's not how it looks like. What it looks like is you start from up here. It's actually a zigzag. So you go down, fail, and then you go down, fail, and then you go down, fail, and then down, fail, and then down, fail, and then eventually you get to the very bottom, which is success. A lot of content creators went through failure. They, a lot of it's just trial and error. Pretty much what I'm trying to say here is that I went through failure. I've tried doing YouTube in the past with like two different other channel names and they were mostly like commentary or like uh, gameplay videos but like I said never really happened. I never really took it seriously but I, like I said I did try doing YouTube for fun. What I did before I started doing Beat Saber and started uploading videos to this channel was I used to work at a part-time job at Starbucks. Now I did do my fair share of time working there. I was working at Starbucks for like a total of like maybe about almost two years probably so I was going to school as well well 
working at Starbucks. It was a good balance between work and school. But then, of course, Beat Saber came along, and uh, like I said, I just casually uploaded videos. I just, I never really thought that I would get somewhere by uploading Beat Saber videos. You no, know, I remember seeing Beat Saber on the VR subreddit, and I didn't think of it too much. I didn't, I just saw it, and I was like, oh, dude, this game looks pretty cool. Like, I, I thought, like, there was just so many people hyped up about the game. There was like, I guess, uh, one of the videos had like 2 million views. It was like a month or two before Beat Saber came out. It just amazed people. I wasn't expecting too much. Like, sure, I understand there's a hype train there, but I, for one, wasn't really like on that hype train. So I remember one day, uh, this was about the day when Beat Saber came out. I was on the Vive subreddit and somebody pointed out that the game was released, that Beat Saber was out on the Steam store. I checked it out. And I thought it was pretty fun, right? I thought it, was, it looked like a pretty fun game. So, of course, I bought it, tried it out, and that was just me making, I guess, the start of a history, right? If you were to look back at my oldest videos, you will see that my very first upload for Beat Saber was Beat Saber, the song Beat Saber. And it was on Expert because the t at the time, Expert was the hardest difficulty. Expert Plus was in the game, but there was no songs that were placed on Expert Plus. It was just Expert. So I thought at the time, Expert was the hardest difficulty. Shortly after, it wasn't too long until the modding community actually created a, a, a custom song tool where people can create their custom songs or custom beat maps and put it into Beat Saber, which was super awesome. And I believe the second video that I uploaded was the the Believer by Dragons, by Imagine Dra Dragons, Imagine Dragons. And that one actually got like, I think a thousand or 2000 views, somewhere around there. So it was insane. It was actually pretty crazy. And then I just kind of casually uploaded more videos as time went on because I was having a fun time doing custom songs. I, I, I really, I still do. I still do have a fun time uh, playing custom songs and Beat Saber. <laughs> But if you think about it, it's because of Beat Saber that I'm here, that I'm able to talk to you guys and how I have a lot of a, a huge influence on many people, many people. I get I get countless DMs uh, on Discord, on Twitter and people on my on my Twitch channel that come by and also like in the, in the comment section, I get tons and tons of people saying that they look up to me and that I inspire them and they do they're able to pass difficult songs because they watch my videos and they get they, they they feel really great about themselves this kind of goes i want to segue into another topic which is uh, how i feel about being a content creator and the ups and downs that i've had in the past so one thing that not a lot of content creators like to talk about because of course they want to they want you guys to see them as 100 percent successful youtubers or 100 percent successful twitch streamers but the thing is there's there, there are times where people get stressed where content creators get stressed and that could be because you're not getting as many views or you're, you're losing subscribers and there could be many factors of why a content creator could be stressed as for me for my channel 24 hours after i uploaded a video i generally get about 10,000 views and this sound this is great this is great i'm i'm, I'm having a consistent pattern here where ev after every video on average i get about 10,000 views however i've been here for for months like I, I i've been at this at this number for months and i feel like it's not i'm not growing i'm still happy the fact that you guys watch my videos you guys comment trust me i read every single comment i know i can't reply to everyone but every now and then i do reply to people's comments i am happy to be where i'm at but at the same time you know the stress kicks in where it's like i wish i could have more because it's just to be honest it's like you know you would think that if you're growing of course you would have a larger number a larger view count but i hope that you guys know what i'm, tr what I'm trying to say here is that i do care about my i do care about my numbers i do care about my subscriber count i do care about my view counts i do i i do 100 percent it's very important because it lets me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, and also the room for improvement that I can do. So just to summarize what I just talked about, being a content creator, it's fun. I do enjoy doing this. This is my this is my job, doing YouTube and Twitch. The majority of the revenue actually comes from Twitch. As much as I love doing YouTube, I don't really get paid that much off of YouTube because of course I'm uploading copyrighted songs and not all my videos get monetized. So unfortunately, I'm not making as much money on YouTube as compared to Twitch. So if you guys want to support me, you guys can also follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash 915 Of course, the links will be down below in the description. For This goes for every video as well. For me, being at this position at where I'm at, 
I am 100% happy. I am. There are just so many more pros than cons of being a content creator for me. From the bottom of my heart, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. 100,000 subscribers. It's crazy that I'm talking in front of a camera right now and you guys will shortly see this video. So I hope you guys liked it. Please let me know down below in the comments if you like this type of video. And uh, see you guys next time. Peace.